This former Mr. Universe and Hall of Fame bodybuilder has spent the last two decades giving back to the fitness community. This weekend, he's hosting the 2016 Lee Labrada Classic, giving new meaning to the phrase, strike a pose. <laughs> I like to spread the message of good health and getting into great shape. And for me, it is my personal mission to impact millions of lives, if possible. I would like to get as many people into shape as, uh, as I possibly can. And it starts with one individual at a time. Our next guest is a legitimate legend in the bodybuilding industry, winning 22 professional titles, gracing the cover of more than 100 fitness magazines, and dedicating his life to promoting the healthy lifestyle to as many people as possible. Please welcome Mr. Lee Labrada. Thank you, Deborah. All right, Lee, um, we had Lou Ferrigno here not long ago, and uh, he was also another giant, giant in terms of uh, the fitness world. He talked about why he got into it. He says he was, he was a scrawny kid, and kids used to pick on him. Why did you get into it? Well, because I needed to put on weight for football. I was uh, had an injury and I started lifting weights and I found out pretty soon that I was a better bodybuilder than a football player. Okay, yeah, well, <laughs> one time Mr. Universe. Yes, Mr. Universe, uh, holder of 22 titles, uh, professional world champion, <laughs> top four in the Mr. Olympia. Look at that craziness. Yeah. And might I say, you still look good. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. So. So working out is the uh, is the closest thing we have to the fountain of youth. Yeah, yeah. There you go. It, well, you know, that's a great point you make. And um, the closest thing to fountain of youth is how you treat your body. Exactly. And so you know, exercising, eating good, keeping your stress low, all of those things. Yeah. Okay. Then there's two components there. There's that one. Yes. I know a lot of people like to say, look, if I work out a little extra, can I really eat what I want, or can I, you know? So it's but it, it, it's in balance. It's like the two wheels on a bicycle. And so if they're both working, you can go anywhere. But if one is out, you're not going to get very far. Yeah. All right. Besides that, when you get into competitive mode, like, you know, your son Hunter is also competing as a bodybuilder. He did. He just won his first bodybuilding competition. Oh, fantastic. Yes. What does that do for somebody? Like, we might not all be Mr. or Ms. Olympia, but what does that do for you when you, when you are that disciplined? Well, you know, the, the important thing is self-improvement. And mm -hmm. not all of us can be a professional athlete or a, or, a, or a bodybuilding champion, but we can all improve. And that is within all of our grasp. So that's what I encourage people to do, is to exercise and eat right so that they can be the best person they can be. Yeah, and one way to help make that easy, because we all know that if we have to make too much effort in for most of us, <laughs> that if, if it's made easier for us, then we can accomplish that goal easier. So uh, you have products that help to build muscle, we help do. people lose fat, all that type of thing. We do. We have Labrata Nutrition, and we're the makers of Lean Body and a number of other products that help people to stay in uh, great shape. But more importantly, we educate people. And, you know, and so we don't just do the products. We educate people on how to use them yeah. so don't that they can... Don't you find people are more likely to accomplish the goal when they understand what the goal really is? Absolutely. So you have to start with the end in mind. And so it, it might be as simple as dropping a dress size or gaining a half inch on your biceps. Uh, but start with a goal in mind and then work towards yeah, that every day. and understand how that happens. Sure. All right, you have the 2016. Lee Labrada Classic coming yes, up and tell yes. us what that classic is going to feature. So this Saturday at the Stafford Center we're going to have the uh, 2016 NPC Lee Labrada Classic and we're going to have amateur athletes of all stripes, bodybuilders, physique athletes, bikini competitors, figure competitors and so uh, we're going to uh, be there. Uh, the prelims start at 9 a.m. on Saturday and then the uh, finals are at 6 p.m. I've emceed a couple of these shows. In fact, that's you where I have. first met you. You have. Yes, you have. And I would sit there on the stage going, okay, that's where I need to be. Why am I not doing that? <laughs> right? But uh, you just mentioned the different categories. And, we, you know, a lot of us have a tendency to, to focus on just the big sure. giant guys when we talk about bodybuilding. But it's different right. today. It's not just about big giant guys. It's about people that are in great physical condition of all stripes and all, ty all levels of development. Yeah, and when we do, you see these shows, it's amazing because they're not just standing there, right? It, no. it, when they pose and you see them work up a sweat it's, because even posing and doing like, you know, doing all that type of look. stuff right there. Yeah. Okay. Look, I, I bruised myself with a weight the other day. That's pretty, I, I like, hurt myself working out. That's pretty bad. But you, but, you were lifting the heavy weights. Yeah, I was, yeah, they were, it was a hundred pounds a piece. But anyway, <laughs> uh, so, but when you watch them, it's really entertaining. It really is. You know, it becomes art, you know, so you, you lift weights in the gym to sculpt your body. But when you get up there on the stage, like we're going to do this 
Saturday. It is an art form. Yeah. All right. We're going to see an example of it in just a second here. But uh, for those of us who are going to start again, yes, <laughs> I'm going to start working out again. How many? Of the, how many? I'm going to start. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to start my diet again. Right? It's every, you didn't see that, but everybody in the audience, by the way. All right. So except for the five-year-old over there, you're good. Um, so to get started, what do you? What can you say to us to get started? And I think again. We sometimes focus only on the end, and if it doesn't happen in the first week, we drop everything. So the important thing is to take baby steps and to take steps that you can keep. You know, so it's not going to do you any good if you go to the gym and you work out so hard that you're going to be that you so, bruise yourself. Yeah, you you, you, you bruise yourself, yeah. and or you're so sore that you can't get up the next morning. You have to do something that fits into your lifestyle, and you can make a habit. So if that's walking, walk. If that's lifting weights, lift weights. But just commit to something you can stick yeah. with. and even like your diet. Like if there's yeah. one thing that you drop from it that, like, say you drink cokes. All day long. Yeah, you could just drop uh, uh, sugary soft drinks or replace them with the diet drinks and things like that. All right, yeah. okay. So the 2016 Lee Labrada Classic will be held this Saturday at the Stafford Center Performing Arts Theater. And pre judging begins at 9 a.m. and the evening show starts at 6 p.m. And for more information, you can log on to our website at greatdayhouston.com. They're like, these are like real athletes who are up there. And it might inspire, I know it inspires me. Like, in fact, we're about to get inspired right now. Tell us about the two folks that you have here today. So here we have Lynn. Lindsay, who is a bikini competitor. And, and, and we have Juan, who is a men's classical physique competitor. All right, guys, take it away. And they're, they're both going to be competing this weekend. Yeah. Don't they look great? Yeah, you, well, yes, they do. <laughs> One of them in particular. You're staring at his abs. <laughs> Speaking of building, I think we should end with our bodybuilders. Have a great day, everybody.